My worst costume was probably in college. Decided that I would be a scratch and sniff. Everybody was um, all hands on Tepper. Hi, welcome to Crafting with Dean Tepper. I am Dean Tepper and I'm here with Kimberly Redding, a junior sculpture student. And it is uh, October, so we are going to carve pumpkins because that's what everybody does in October. Kim will, will walk me through when I'm uh, losing my confidence. So what are you going to put on your pumpkin? I am going to do Sparky. Do we know the origins of Sparky? I don't, do you? I do not. As a host of a program, uh, lesson number one is do not bring up a topic that you know nothing about. And I am going to do uh, Sparky slightly older. So sculpture, why and how uh, is it that your brain works in a multi-dimensional way? It's a um, type of, lucky me, type of intelligence that we have that we can actually pick up shapes and move them and form them into something. I find that unbelievable and incredible, just as like Yay, a, thank you. thinking about how our brain works. And it makes me think, you know, one of our goals at the Institute is to convince the world that the way an artist thinks and a designer thinks uh, is so powerful. Let me take you back then to when you were when you were little. Do you feel like you were also seeing in multi-dimensions? I did, I was a dancer. Uh, gymnast. I ended up joining the church and teaching dance class. So what, what led you from dance and theater to visual art? Well, I went on vacation um, one year and I picked up a really pretty uh, stone and I had said to my husband, you know, I could probably take a class and make jewelry out of this and then make Christmas gifts. And he said, well, if we can save money, go for it. <laughs> so I That's did. That's a true art enthusiast. Right. <laughs> right? So um, I took a four hour class, that was it. And I showed her my stone. I said, I'd like to make this into a pendant. And she said, that's not possible. Not possible. Well, I went home after the class and four hours later, I created it and I brought it back. I still have the piece. Because I started creating things, um, decided that art was probably where I should go if I'm gonna go to college. So you just said, if I was to go to college, yes. so help me understand that pathway. My daughter reminded me that once all four of our daughters uh, graduated college either with their bachelor's or master's that it would be my turn and I would go. I decided to accept the challenge. My first art object, which I still actually own, was in an art class when I was seven. I do, drew a little pencil drawing of a bird. And I just remember feeling like, wow, I did that. do you remember like the first one of the first things that you did that you kind of made a difference, you kind of had that realization that you could make something beautiful? May have been in high school when the uh, dance teacher put me in charge of 30 students to create a dance. One of the classmates' mother was head of the dance um, department at Fullerton College and she asked me to, if, if I was going to Fullerton College and I thought, well, I'm not college material, so yeah, that sounds great, but no. And I never pursued it. What do you think gave you the doubts that it wasn't for you? I have a learning disability, mm -hmm. dyslexia. And the good parts that I have of being able to move things around in my head um, don't help when you have to figure out math problems. So my daughter also has dyslexia. The first thing we did was Google. The first thing you get is like 500 people have dyslexia. A half of all American presidents have dyslexia. I didn't know that. Extraordinary number of creative people. Dyslexia is not a is not a disability. It's no. it's a learning. It's a difference. It's a different way to learn. Yes. So I've already used your technique <laughs> and added some teeth. I love it. And I also just because I began this by saying that there's something wrong, wrong, in, my wrong in my brain <laughs> in terms of my ability to, to sort of spatially reorganize. Sort of didn't quite understand what was the negative and the positive space. So Ooh, I cut yeah. out the whole head, which means I now can't make eyes or a nose. I but I am, I made some teeth using your technique. This is what I'm going for. <laughs> and this is what I have produced so far. Now, uh, I'm not finished, so uh, I still might create something surprising and beautiful. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's talk about Halloween. Halloween. Halloween Fun. is such a fascinating holiday. 
Last year, I was a um, light socket. A light socket? I just, black dress and cut out uh, material, white material. Oh, I did take the um, glow-in-the-dark sticks. Yeah. Stuck them all in my hair, so I was like <laughs> My son wanted to be um, JJ the jet plane. Took a t-shirt and I, I uh, sort of cut, just basically cut most of it away except for the um, collar. And the wingspan was probably about three feet, what? maybe three and a half feet. He runs out the door and his, <gasps> and the wings collapse because the door frame's not big enough. And so the whole thing, the whole costume falls apart. And I'm, I'm, I'm weeping, if not visibly, I'm certainly weeping in the inside. And he basically looks at me and he says, does that mean I can't get candy? And I said, no, <laughs> you can still get candy. And then he didn't, didn't matter a bit that he had a, didn't have a costume. So it was traumatic. God, it's cute. But we traumatic got to it. traumatic for whom, though? It was traumatic for me. He got all those candies. All right, so. Uh, Did you give up? No. no say, let me, um, He's not allowed to give up. I have not been carving for a while because I'm at an impasse. I feel like I've created a general head like structure, and I don't know what else to do with this because this is very um, fragile. So if I try to carve into this space, I feel certain I will lose my flat. This pumpkin is made for people who can imagine. Yes. If you're not one of those people, do not look at my pumpkin. So, okay, the f your future. How do you want to use that uh, that degree and this experience now? Do you want to well, teach? Well, let's be honest. Do you want to make? Sure, who wouldn't want to have a sculpture somewhere? However, that's not my passion. I'm going to um, keep going further and get my PhD and I'm going to use that to create um, art programs in medical facilities. That is an incredible goal, which you will certainly accomplish. I mean... So have I done this correctly? Yes! Did Too I? much, we'll, we'll, we'll like break the jam, okay. the door jam. So the other thing is that you were, you were kind of doing complex work, right? So sort of, um, full carving, uh, the ears are popping out, and you did all that while you were talking. You, it didn't, you, like, I'm not really good at that, by the way. You might have noticed <laughs> I that I was either that. talking or I was carving, and then I stopped carving because, you know, I probably it's hard to do. I prefer to talk, so. I like your spiked teeth, too. Kim, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, congratulations thank on your you. pumpkin. Crafts with the Dean.